These dinosaurs have kind of taken over a spot in downtown Phoenix, sort of. Someone has installed two mysterious dinosaur statues near 9th Avenue and Jackson. The problem is they're not allowed to do this, and the people who are homeless and living in that area called The Zone are not happy. Fox 10's Stephanie Bennett now joins us live with details. What is this all about? Good evening, John and Christina. Yeah, it's kind of a weird phenomenon that has just happened here, kind of almost overnight. Now, we're in the zone which many of our homeless population reside in. These are the two in question right here. Many are upset because of them. Two dinosaur statues, they popped up, but we asked around to see who owns them, and no dice. A dynamite art installation of Jurassic proportions is now likely facing extinction. They basically kicked them out from over there so they could put the dinosaurs there. A metal triceratops and a brontosaurus sit proudly overlooking 9th Avenue and Jackson Street. Construction workers at the adjacent building say they popped up earlier this week, and nearby businesses are not too sure who installed them or why. But homeless campers are not too pleased about them, taking up their valuable sidewalk space in the zone. It really hurts them because that's what basically where everybody used to stay. Like the whole block was filled with everybody. And they had to move to a different location and it's hard on us because basically it's, that's where we live. And the city of Phoenix agrees. The dinos have got to go. In a statement, they tell Fox 10, the street transportation department has informed the property owner that the structures are not authorized or permitted and need to be removed from the public right of way. For now, we'll see if they continue on land before time runs out. I like want them moved. If I had the choice, I would move them today. Yeah, and we managed to find a potential owner. We reached out to them, but so far have not heard back. Reporting live tonight in the zone, Stephanie Bennett, Fox 10 News.